Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a talking bass type sound used by people like Skrillex and other um, dubstep and just electronic music in general. Um, and you can do this with just about any synth. You don't have to have any specific synthesizer. It just has to have certain attributes. And today I'm going to use Zeta 2, but again, you can have a bunch of different ones. It, there's some simple principles that will give you a particularly squelchy, disgusting, talking type sound. Kind of sounds like a speak and spell that's broken or something like that. Now there's, there's several different ways to get talking type sounds. There's filters that you can download um, and uh, buy that will take pretty much any input and, and make it talk. Um, but this is going to use one specific technique to achieve this effect. And uh, what we're going to do is going to sound like this. So it has uh, that ya ya type of sound. You can't get all the vowels with this, at least not that I know of, but you can get that sound and it sounds pretty dirty and horrible. So let's get started. So first thing you want to get a waveform pulled up on your synth, a sawtooth will do, but you can experiment with different types and you're going to come in and put in a filter. I'm going to use a um, 36 dB filter. And I'm going to crank up the resonance and um, have the cutoff at about there. And then the second part of this is the important part. Um, you want to have some sort of a bit reducer or decimator or not a bit reducer. Sorry, stretch that. It's not a bit reducer. It's a sample rate reducer. Um, some people call it a decimator. Some call it sample and hold. Some call it a resampling. Res um, and there's, there's a lot of different ones that do things in different ways, but, um, basically some will work better than others. So you have to kind of experiment and I'll, I'll, um, show you one that you can download if you don't have one built into your synth. This one does. So I'm going to set this at about there and yeah, around here, let's say. Now, already when I start to play, you hear that it um, sounds funny. Sounds kind of cool. Um, let me turn up a little bit for you. And now, if I modulate the cutoff, you get that talking sound. And you can come in and tweak. Um, a lot of people will like to drop this down an octave. And if you go in and tweak the decimator, um, it, it'll change the character of the sound somewhat. So you have to kind of find the sweet spot. Because it won't uh, work outside of the sweet spot. Um, let me just assign uh, quickly an, an LFO to the filter here. Get the cutoff. Good. And uh, let's see. When this one, let's do this. In the, there we go. So you find the sweet spot here for the, the filter. And you can go here to the decimator and find the sweet spot you might want there. I think I like it right about there maybe and then once you have that going you can uh, you know do whatever you want again uh, depending on how you set up your filters it'll give you somewhat of a different effect and you can add other oscillators to it 
to kind of thicken it up, let's try adding a voice oscillator and route that upwards. Let's do that with that. Oh, I didn't transpose this right before. That's all right, though. We'll get it this time. So yeah, that's the sound. That's how it's done. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, let's say you don't have a um, decimator in your uh, particular synth. Not to worry. You can go download uh, Resampler, Decimator, Surdell. And again, some will work better than others. You have to mess around with it and see which which one works the best. But I downloaded uh, this guy right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out. And now we're gonna be listening to this guy. So again, without the, the resampler, sounds like that when I engage it. You get the hideous talking sound. And um, and again, you know, tweak it to taste. And tweak this to taste. Because if you go too far outside of the boundaries, it's not going to sound like God talking anymore. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, and uh, if you have something like uh, Massive, um, you have to use Sample and Hold. That's what it's called in this one. And it pretty much resamples whatever you throw into it. So let's, let's see if we can get this one going real quick. So right now it's sounding disgusting. I have the sample and hold in place. I'm going to use a DAV filter here. Turn up the resonance. It's that easy, folks. All right, so take that, mess with it, play with it, expand on what I've done, have a bunch of fun, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful to you, and have a wonderful time with your music. Thanks, guys.